Well, hello, my friends. This is Gladys from Gladys Garden and Heart of a Gypsy. Thanks for stopping by. And today I have a very small project that I like to share with you, a uh, small tutorial. I am um, part of a swap that um, I am hosting at uh, my um, group page in uh, uh, Facebook, which is um, Heart of a Gypsy Soul Designs, and is under obviously my name, Gladys uh, Wright Moreno. And um, anyways, that's a group that I, I created, and um, we've had this swap going on, and uh, we have several people that signed up for it, and now I'm getting ready to create the. Um, Hacks that I will be sending. I am swapping with two uh, persons this time um, beha because we had an uneven number and therefore you know and, and that's perfectly okay. So the theme is steampunk um, tag. Let me see if I can uh, put this. Oh yeah that's much better. I'm so sorry I didn't even know the camera was um, in that. Uh, oh, a little better there. Pumped it just a little second here. Um, there. Okay. Um, so anyway, so it's about steampunk, uh, basically. My uh, tags that I cut out, I cut them out out of medium um, um, uh, chipboard, and the measurements are four and a half, uh, no, four and a quarter by eight and a half. I wanted to make them substantially uh, big uh, because, you know, I want to do things with it. But I decided that I would use these products that I just got um, by Beva Decor. I, I know they're not new, but um, they're new to me. As modeling cream, I've, I've seen some videos and I've already done a tag for me uh, working. This is still drying a little bit um, with uh, with this uh, cream, and I really like um, the effect. Let me see if you can see it in the back a little better too. And it's quite easy, and it dries. I mean, really, really fast. The other thing, it comes in many colors. Um, I think I think I bought one more. Let me see what um, the other color is. I cannot remember it so let me see if I can grab that oh no maybe that's the only two that I bought I can't even remember but anyhow I am going to use the copper uh, color and I'm using one of my stencils that is the gears and all that good stuff and this one is by um, the crafters uh, workshop .com, and it's a six by six and I bought this one at my local craft uh, store and I really like it so it's all kinds of gears and you know mixed in really nice so what I did with my other one I just did it once so I just just have to position it uh, where you want it and then after that really it's totally up to you so I'm using obviously you can tell the Cricut my Cricut um, spatula and that's absolutely okay the only thing with this is you just have to grab it make sure that you hold on to it because you cannot reposition it once you start putting your gel or your cream on it I mean I'm definitely no expert at this I'm just starting to play with it but wow I really like it I really like the effect that it had so here we go and on the second one that I was trying to make, um, I ended up moving the, you know, my stencil moved on me. But it's it's okay, you know, it's not a biggie. But try to hold on as much as you can. Uh, and sometimes they'll lift up, you know, when you're doing the spatula. So try not to lift before you're in the before you're out of the, um, the actual perimeter of your tag or whatever project is it that you're using it on so just slip it out completely and that way it avoids getting into that all right so what I'm gonna do I am going to switch my hands because I gotta turn this around and then now I'm gonna put my my thumb in here and my other finger in here just to hold my stencil because I don't want to um, you see how easy it is to lift up and it really doesn't take a lot Ugh. all right so I say that's pretty much done but you can go as thick or as thin you know as you would like to have it 
I think I'm going to add just a tiny bit more to to have this area kind of you know raised up good and have a good um good amount of decor to my tag and uh, dimension dimension all right and what I'm gonna do with the rest of what I have in my you know I'm just kind of spread it into the chipboard not that that's uh, you know needed or anything but I just I was want to continue that look but without being that the predominant part because we really do want to have in this case um, obviously the you know the the gears and all that good stuff uh, theme into it all right so now I'm done I'm gonna put this in water and immediately you don't even need to wait at all you see how little you we use very little and now it's ready for me to lift it up it's already it's already um, you know gluing to the or drying all right I'm gonna put this aside and I am actually going to use what I have in my hand and whatever is on the edges I'm just gonna go around with it it just adds interest I think to the tag all right so I'm gonna let this dry and in the meantime I will start on my second one I don't want to go and wash this because this dries so fast and I think I'm going to use I'm going to switch I think my layout I'm gonna go there all right paper paper where did I put it all right so I'm gonna hold it right there and here we go again so I'm just kind of smooth it out outside of the perimeter of the gears again that's not the focal point of the tag but you know I just want to have a little bit of dimension here too then we're going to play with it uh, with alcohol inks all right that's good enough for me put that in water and it's time to raise this puppy up all right and here you have it look how nice it is okay now since this thing dries so so fast I'm going to go ahead and close my cream here and try to kind of clean up a little bit in here and then I gotta go and wash my stencil because it really does dries fast so I gotta go at least put her in water I'll be right back all right my friends I washed my stencil although it doesn't look like I did huh but I did it's just staying down all right so here we have our pieces uh, with the gear you know background so now what we're going to do it's just give it a quick dry and it dries really fast okay it's uh it's you know you can feel the humidity a little bit on him but uh, it's um it's pretty much dry already I mean it doesn't stick to my hand at all already but you know it's not quite ready for you to um to uh, to um, put any colors or anything like that because then it will start uh, to come up so let me do some cleaning in here and in the meantime this one's will completely dry and we'll be right back okay <clears throat> so they are completely dry um, so I am going to start working on my edges of my tag and I have this new re-inker by we are um, memory keepers and I just bought it and I'm not sure if you know I'm convinced and um, as to how much I like it you know I thought it was gonna be a little better but I think I think the fact that you don't have to re-ink it all the time it's okay you know 
but since I don't use a lot of tools this way, it's I'm not sure yet. So I'm not going to bash it, you know, but it's it's nice. It's nice. Uh, how much ink will we still keep in there and how how long the sponge will stay nice and, in, and intact we don't know or I don't know all right so I'm just giving a little overall and as you can tell the this is water-based okay so the the actual cream is asking it's a kind of uh, having a resist effect all right go for the other one we're really going to crunch it up as you can tell And then we'll play with some alcohol ink. Now, the alcohol ink really does get to it, which is very nice. But I want to get this black, um, you know, um, ink on it so I can put this away. Okay. So, clean in here and clean my hands. Yes. It does come out really easy though. That's I do like that. Wow, it's pretty pretty awful. Alright. Yuck. Okay. So here we are. Let me get some alcohol in. It's my little alcohol in. Inky, inky stuff. Well, I'm just going to grab a bunch of colors in here. I don't need the metallic ones, though. Yeah, I don't need that. Need that. Mm. We'll just play with different colors, okay? And although this copper is already very pretty, let's use some caramel. I'm going to do caramel and slate. Yeah. Oh, that's hard. I haven't used that in a while. All right. So that one does stay. It just brings it more. Brings it up. And I mean, we can even pour one here and there to have it really, you know, stand up if that's what we want it. That's a pretty one. Oh, I like that one. Okay, so let's get a little bit more of that one. And this one is raisin. This one just brought it out to life. We're going to color that inside a different color, but right now we, we need, I wanted to have the alcohol ink on it. And it kind of makes it look like it's really metally, as you can tell right there. All right, so let's do this again. I'm gonna put raisin. Slate and caramel together. That's what I've done before. So hopefully that's a good combination. Yeah. I like that. Very, very nice. You could also rub it to this way, but I'm afraid to, you know, damage the the raised part of the cream, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, I think I like the combination. Let me close my alcohol inks in here. Uh, let's see what else can we do to this tags. 
clean up in here a little bit. It's been a while I've done a video. I'm out of my element, just been really busy. Actually, I've been doing a lot of jewelry. Um, I've been wiring and I love that. It's very therapeutic for me. Okay, so let's see what else can we do. Um, hmm. Let me gather some paints and um, some acrylics and things of that nature, anything that would be waterproof because I want this to resist, but I want the background to be, you know, taken care of with paint. So I'll be right back with you guys. All right, my friends, we are back. I collected some images and I also um, used my acrylic um, dabber by um, Stranger. And what I did with it in the front, basically, I just go with it like this, you know, because I just want to colorize these areas that, you know, it's a plain chipboard. And then you get, and I, this is wet, this is like a wet wipe. And then I go over like this, because remember that wherever we put the um, alcohol ink will resist because that is acrylic. And then I go over and clean it some more just to, you know, get that gold out of it. And it will, but the background gold with you know within the chipper will stay, and that is just to bring out the pattern of the the gears. So that's basically, you know, it's nothing, nothing big, uh, and it's quite easy to do. Okay, so there, and now go back with another part of your same either you know paper a little bit wet paper or wet wipe that will um, take care of the rest all right so that brings out the the color of you know it brings a really nice um, background so that's basically what I've done um, then on the, on the back I color the whole thing with some gold and then I'm gonna use the black again to um, you know, just ac accent um, the edges here. But it's, the black is not going to be the, you know, it doesn't have to be so predominant. And it will do in the back again a little bit. You can still see it a little bit from what we've done before. But this just gives it a little extra oomph to the project, I think. And I'm obviously doing two tags at once because that's going to be two that I need to send out. But I will put one away so I don't take a lot of time. But that's basically what I'm, I'm you know, trying to do both of them. So I'll be able to send them off. And I can't wait to see mine, you know. Alright, one is international and the other one is from home. All right, let me get some uh, white wipe, wipe wipes to kind of clean my hands again because I am just filled with paint everywhere. Okay, so we're here and I have this different images that I thought I would play with it. And I just bought <clears throat> my stamps from Tim Holtz Stamps and I am thinking of utilizing them. So this is the um, uh, the Remnants CMS 130, and I do not know if this one has a name, but this one is just um, you know the one that has the obviously the the air balloon mechanics some wording. So I'm thinking of using this one just one way or another. So I had this one. I thought that was kind of nice, but it's kind of big too. I also like this one, kind of weird, and I fussy cutted this one, so, which is an Im image that comes like that, and I fussy cutted it, and I might, I'm, I'm really leaning towards this one to do some three, um, 3D, and I was thinking of doing um, this balloon right here, 
kind of kind of um in a 3d formation also so i'm thinking of doing that so let me get my inks and all that good stuff so and my pop dots so i'm going to put them in the back and we'll be right back with you all right my friends let's continue with the making of our tag and um it took a while because i had to something else came up that i need to do taking care of here at the house but i have already uh done uh, most of my cuttings for the tag and I told you I was going to use this stamp right here you know from Tim Holtz and oops I went ahead and cut it and I used one of his um, you know uh, part of the packaging from his um, one of a uh, one of his products anyways because I like the thickness and I actually like the brown um, background to it so I stamped it into that uh, so now what I'm going to do this one is going to go here and then this one right here so on this one I went ahead after I fussy cut it I went ahead and put um, you know the the pop dots so it stays in there and it's not going to be all the way to the bottom because we're going to be putting some warding in there so you're gonna leave about an inch to the bottom and then I've already also, oh, where's my scissors? Oh, um, cut out this name, uh, the words that said um, Steampunk Dreams. And in order for you to make it just freestyle cut, this is what I do. I just kind of, you know, wiggle my scissors back and forth. And it just kind of gives it a, a different look, okay? And that's basically what we want to accomplish. Now I'm going to get my little anchor. And just give it a little bit of a of um itch in there. All right, so that one is done. Oops, this. Um, and then we'll go ahead and put pop dots in that one too. All right, so. This tag is taking longer than I thought, but oh well, I'll get there. All right, put that right there. And then we'll go ahead and start putting some pop dots on this one too. Now we don't need to put all the way to the edge because it's going to be coming out a little bit like this. So we're going to go as far as that, like that, here, here, just so it's kind of you know holding and I need this one's cut in half because of where they are this little area so I usually just cut it on the onto the where where they are on the paper and they're easy to grab that way there and then we'll just keep using this little ones that we have in here and maybe one more in here. All right, so we are done with those. Let me remove the backing. It was the fussy cutting that takes me the longest, and I actually do enjoy it. But I don't want this video to, you know, to be forever. This is just a small tag. Well, it's not small, but it's. it's it's not a complicated job. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to center it above this guy's head right here. See if I can, let me see if I can zoom in now so you guys can see a little better. Well, let's see, I can't grab that. I don't want anyone getting sick here, let me see. All right, let me see. <clears throat> so. Just like that so it pops out and it's even popping out in the back here too much because I didn't you know center it all the way but it doesn't matter move them move those in if you're quick enough you can you can still move them and there all right so there it is then <clears throat> let's do the rest of the stamps that I had already cut out this one we're going to put pop dots on it too and that's just the word that says airmail from the same stamp um, set by uh, Tim Holtz and I 
and that one is going to go here. And I am going to bring my purple monster so I can put my eyelid in there. All right. Oops, there's two in there. Okay, done. Let me put that away. All right, so there's that. And I stamped this little um, small balloon stamp that I have in there. I cut two little ones because I'm going to put them like that. So it looks like it's, you know, like a balloon show type of thing. And I'm going to go ahead and just give it a little bit of a color, ink the edges. Okay. And we're going to pop dot it too. And since this one is so small, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one in half. So it's easy for me to maneuver them. Because we don't need big pieces in here at all. Alright, so one, it's going to go, you know, just kind of give it a... The illusion is like they're in the background or like far away. Hopefully that, you know, maybe hopefully it'll, it'll work as to what I am pretending that it's going to work. And if it's not, oh well, we'll live. Okay, and then we have this one here. See, if you cut them ahead of time in there, it's so much easier than trying to cut them in your hand. Okay. So same thing, we're going to go up in here, and we should be getting done with this tag soon enough. Uh, let's see what, oh, we have our, and this one didn't, you know, it, it was, it was kind of cut out to the end right there. So, I want to hide that, but I don't have a way of hiding it. So, what I'm going to do is actually just trim it freestyle by hand so so it looks even weirder how's that there it is so let's give it a little a little etch here it's already stamped with um, you know with um, stays on the black stays on but this papers from his backing from the back of his products are re it's really good they um, it's thick enough to keep a product you know standing any of your projects and then I feel good because I'm recycling so and I'm just going to put that right here right around there really you can put them anywhere there is no uh, you know wrong way of doing this um, we are going to put stays on I mean um, glossy accents into these people here this 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 and this so I'm gonna start with this one on top just kinda just going with my finger it doesn't have to be perfect uh, but I do want this elements to be kind of standing on their own and when you just that glossy accents just allows them to do to do that precisely and while this stays on or this um, glossy um, accents is still really wet I am going to take advantage of that and I'm going to put two gears one in here one right there then I am going to put a little bit in the back of oops it's not what I wanted but it's all right and I'm gonna put the, this clock right there and I had an extra gear to put on top of that one but I can't find it so let's let me get my gears again I might have put it away by mistake Ooh, where are you where are you It was one of those that was completely open. And 
I hope we still have some. Well, oh, here's. I just hit it in my hand, so okay. And since that thing has glossy accents, oh yeah, we have to put glossy accents on top. It looks like it has it because it's an epoxy, you know, dot in it. So you just put a little bit more of glossy accent and put your gear on top of it. And it should start um, to dry. And now what we're going to do is put this charms right here. Get this jump rings going and I have like a little telescope those hand telescope old-fashioned ones vintage ones and then I also have charm a um, it's like a um, light bulb which I just found those and really like them never seen them okay so once this is dry right here with um, you know because of the glossy I don't want to put it in there but that's where it goes you're gonna you're going to put it in there and it should be able to you know come this way so let me show you the other one that I had already finished and let me zoom out okay this is the one it is already finished so I'll move this to the side because this one is still is still drying a little bit but here it is. Here is that tag. And, you know, the gears and there, everything else that we did. So I do hope you, hope you like this little tutorial for this tag. It wasn't difficult at all. And, I mean, you, you could do anything in the back. You can write on it or anything like that. Um, and they're pretty enough that, you know, they can be sent up uh, to be shown as um, like a little layout because they're big enough. And um, whoever gets them, I think they're going to enjoy them. So I appreciate you guys stopping by and listening to this tutorial. Hope you liked it. If you have any questions or any, or any comments, please leave a message. And I guess we'll talk to you later. You guys take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.